Some people don't know, know where the stuff goes. They don't understand. Donation destination. Now, you see these everywhere, clothing and shoe donation bins. In fact, they're popping up in all shapes, sizes, and colors. But what happens after you drop your old stuff into one of those bins? Where does it go? And who benefits from your donation? 27 First News This Morning anchor Dan Martin investigates. I took a drive down 224, and in the six miles or so between the Canfield Giant Eagle and South Avenue, I came across bins from five different charities or companies. And when you check the addresses posted on the bins, uh, none of them are even in the city of Youngstown or even really the surrounding area. Now, most are regional. They have donation centers or distribution warehouses in Northeast Ohio, in the Cleveland area, Ashland. But even still, where does your stuff end up once it gets there. Perhaps the most recognizable are these yellow Planet Aid bins. On the bins on 224, it says your donations go to a regional office about an hour away in Solon. From there, clothes are bundled and sold on the used textile commodity market to generate money for Planet Aid's missions around the world. In some of the countries we support with aid, um, people, they live on less than $2 a day. The nonprofit keeps some stuff in the U.S., but most of it is sold or sent overseas to developing countries. Leaders say the recycling helps the environment, and the collection and distribution process puts people here to work. We spend um, around 85, 83 to 85 percent on our mission, and the rest uh, goes to uh, fundraising and overhead uh, and the like. <laughs> but not all donation bins and companies are created equal, so you have to look closely. Some put a fine print and say for profit, and nobody cares to read through those things. There are five Salvation Army family stores around the valley selling donated clothes and other things. The captain says all the proceeds from those stores supports a 60-bed men's drug rehabilitation center in Akron. We're saving lives day by day. Lives like Terry Madigan, who went through the rehab program and now supervises all five family stores. And now I just want to get, I want to give back and I'm trying to, I'm trying to help out the next person that has the problem. We know the need is there, but with a different bin or cause around almost every corner, are Valley churches or charities hurting for hand-me-downs? I ran into Lauren Hanlon and her dog Stella, checking on the donation shed behind New Covenant Worship Center on Canfield Road. There might be too many of them, but our, our shed gets full. You know, like by this time next week, it'll be probably halfway full. So there are, are a lot of donations. Now, the point of this investigation wasn't to pick or promote one charity over another. We were simply looking for some answers to questions you might have when thinking about where you want to donate this holiday season. I guess the best advice, as always, is just to do your own research. Make sure you find that company or cause that's going to sell or ship your stuff the way you want it to be handled. And if you do and you donate, you might just make your holidays even happier. In the newsroom, Dan Martin, WKBN 27 First News.